Today we're making an adjustable sliding knot necklace. I've just got a scallop shell on mine here and it's got the adjustable sliding knots one on each side. And we're using the 1.5 millimeter cotton cord for this adjustable sliding knot. I'm using 50 inches for a standard size necklace. So I just start by measuring that out and then we can pop our little shell on. You could also use a donut crystal or anything else that has a hole in it. We have another video which shows you how to easily put holes into a shell without a drill. So if you have a shell, you can check that video out. I'm gonna put this one on my necklace today. So I just start by threading it through and then sort of finding the middle of the cord. So I just put the ends together and find the middle that way. I'm just gonna go down on one side and pull it up two inches on the back piece. Then I just hold that back piece with my index finger there on my left hand and I'm just gonna wrap the other piece around it three times. Wrapping down towards the shell. And then I just gently remove it from my finger and poke this cord that we wrapped around up through the three loops that you created. This is actually one type of sliding knot there, but I just find it makes a nice even knot to hang a pendant on. Then you can tighten your little knot up a little bit, push it down a bit further to your donut or shell. I like to make sure first that my cords are even. So I just pull them up together and cut the longer piece off. Next thing is just to lay it all down on the table so that we can start to make our sliding knots. We're just laying it down with these top pieces overlapping and always with this left piece on the top. We're going to pick it up and I'm holding it in my left hand with this tail at the back. This is the tail here that I bring over the front, down and out the back. So that creates a little loop there, just hold that. And then bringing it over again, down and out the back, going towards your thumb there. Then with this little tail, we can just poke it down through the two little loops that you created and pull it nice and tight. Then swap the necklace onto the other side. We're going to repeat the same process. With this tail at the back, bringing it over and down and out the back, creating that first loop. And again, over, down and out the back for the second loop. And then we can just poke that tail down both loops and pull it nice and tight. So you can adjust these knots as well to try and get them even. You should have two nice little sliding knots there that will adjust your necklace up and down. Then you can cut your tails off and start wearing your adjustable sliding knot pendant.